this video we will compare Tesla's Vision based auto park with other ultrasonic based park assistants. Test Tesla's auto park in different situations including perpendicular, parallel, multi-point, garage, diagonal and more and explain current issues and limitations. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. As you may know, Tesla recently uh, released the first uh, version of its Vision Base Auto Park system with the 2024.3.6 update. Tesla originally had all the advanced parking assistant and features in their cars when they had ultrasound sensors. But around October 2022, when they decided to remove the ultrasound sensors from their car, they disabled these features until they converted to AI and camera-based system. But even today, if you go to Tesla's website, you will still see features like Auto Park, Summon, and a Smart Summon as part of the Enhanced Autopilot package but they are not available yet. Someone is basically allowing you to park the car in a tight space after you exit the car and then retrieve the car while standing next to it. And a smart someone uses the app to summon the car from where it's parked in a parking lot to your location. So basically car comes to you instead of you go to the car. Hopefully this feature will be available soon in future updates. So in this video, I'm going to first compare Tesla's auto park system with other ultrasound based park assistant and then run a bunch of different tests in different situations for the auto park and also talk about the issues and limitations that the current auto park system has. I hope you find this video helpful and if so, I would appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel which helps me to reach to a wider audience. Also, please feel free to share your experience with the auto park in the comment section below. With that, let's dive right in. Ultrasonic based park assistance. The auto park or park assist systems in most cars are based on ultrasonic sensors, which is how Tesla's auto park system was originally designed. Ultrasonic sensors can detect objects and obstacles as well as measure the distance to them. The car's computer uses this information to first measure the available space and then guide the car into the parking spot. However, these systems have limitations. They can only park the car next to other cars or objects. If there are no other cars around, they cannot detect the lines drawn on the ground and are unable to park the car automatically. On the plus side, ultrasonic sensors do not require light to function, meaning they can detect objects even in the dark, allowing them to work at night time as well. Another disadvantage of ultrasonic based parking systems is that the car needs to be stopped at a specific position next to the parking spot for them to function effectively. If the car is moved beyond this point, the system may no longer be able to locate the spot. This is because the ultrasonic signals can get blocked by other cars, affecting the system's ability to detect open parking spaces. Lastly, the driver needs to choose between parallel or perpendicular parking, as the cars usually don't have the intelligence to select the appropriate type on their own. In most cases, the driver is also responsible for manually switching between reverse and drive gears. Tesla's new auto park system on the other hand is vision based. It works by feeding the videos from Tesla cameras into the AI models running on its computer to detect objects and even recognize the lines on the ground. This capability enables Tesla not only to identify nearby parking spots but also to detect spots that are farther away, in front, behind, and on both sides of the vehicle, remembering the exact location of each spot. This allows the driver to choose any spot and the car will navigate to the chosen position to park. Moreover, this system is intelligent enough to decide between parallel or perpendicular parking on its own, without the driver having to specify. Another significant advantage of Tesla's auto park is its ability to see parking lines on the ground, enabling the car to park correctly in a spot even if there are no other cars in the parking lot. Tesla's auto park also manages shifting between drive and reverse gears, activating turn signals, and even putting the car into park mode once parking is completed. 
However, the vision-based auto park system does have a disadvantage. It requires sufficient light to see the objects and lines, and if there is not enough light, it may not be able to detect the parking spots. Now let's test the new version of Tesla's vision-based auto park system in different situations. First, let's test how Tesla can park itself using the parking lot lines when there are no other cars around. You need to drive at speeds under 8 miles per hour near the parking spots to enable the parking spot detection feature. Tesla can detect parking spots if at least 3 visible lines are drawn on the ground. Now, you can choose any spot displayed on the screen on either side, then tap on start, and take your hands off the steering wheel. The system will then highlight the selected spot and show the driving plan to park in that spot. Next, let's test the auto park by parking between two other cars. Again, you need to reduce your speed to under 8 miles per hour while driving near the parking spots. Once the auto park system identifies potential spots, select one, tap on start, and let Tesla handle the parking for you. Let's see how the new auto park system handles parking in tight spaces where there isn't enough room to maneuver and multi-point parking is required. In this situation, the parking space is surrounded by curbs, which does not leave enough room to park the car in one attempt. Tesla detects the curbs and plans its parking route around them, which is something that most ultrasound-based systems cannot do. In this next test, I wanted to see if Tesla's auto park can see and park in a spot that is covered by a wall. As you see, as soon as it reaches to the wall, it detects the spot next to it. Next, let's try parallel parking. Manual parallel parking requires experience and skill in maintaining the correct distance from the car next to us and timely steering to avoid hitting the curb, especially in very tight spaces. To enable auto park for parallel parking, you need to slow down to under 13 miles per hour when approaching the area where you'd like to park. Then, select the spot you would like to park in. Let's first try to parallel park behind a single car. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's see if autopilot can drive the car out of the parking spot. Since there is not enough room to drive out of the spot, autopilot does not even move the car. It's important to note that autopilot and full self-driving systems are not capable of reversing the car yet. So, it's the driver's responsibility to move the car backward and in a spot that autopilot can easily drive out from. Now let's try to parallel park in between two other cars in a tight space. Now let's try to drive out of parking space. Again, autopilot is not able to drive out of the space on its own and I need to reverse the car a little to give it enough room. Now let's see how Tesla's auto park can handle parking inside a parking garage with tight spaces. Here I picked a spot that is next to another car on one side and concrete columns on the other side. and it parked the car perfectly. Now let's talk about what is not currently working with Tesla's auto park system. Currently, Tesla's auto park system cannot recognize diagonal parking spots. In fact, I haven't seen any other auto park system that can handle diagonal parking. So, be aware that in this case, you cannot rely on auto park. I've noticed that in certain parking lots, the auto park system is not able to recognize parking spots. I'm not sure if this is related to the lighting or any other factors, but I hope this gets fixed in future releases. <laughs> 